Well, as you can see, I've made it to a little town. Looks like it's called Brazilian. Oh boy, that is not something I want to see this early in the morning or afternoon. I'm not sure what time it is, game time yet. Oh boy. I hate dogs. Let's see if we can take this nasty thing out before it raises some suspicion. Get, get, die! Don't bite me, you son of a bitch. Oh, all right, all right, that wasn't that bad. All right, so we have a supermarket down there. Well, no, more like a 7-Eleven type store. I'm gonna check these houses, make sure I can see something. Let's see what we have here. Oh, crowbar. That'll be a little bit better than what I have now. Uh, oh, yeah. Alright, so, let me go to my bag. You know what? I'm gonna keep the crowbar until I find a bigger bag. So, what I'm gonna do is go back to my bag and replace that with that because at the end of the day, both tools are good for crushing skulls, but I like the reach of the crowbar a hell of a lot better. Hmm, hatchet. Uh, I take it? Alright, so I've got a hatchet on me now, but I really need to find a bigger bag. Oh, uh, there's some creep right there trying to come in. Alright, B, flashlight. Alright, i got to find something here. What do we have here? Alright, another bag already. That's good sign. So let's see what we got. Great. Now I can go back out and get I can go out and get that uh crossbow because nothing like having a weapon that has some distance on it. Ooh, another backpack. I think we're good. I think we're good, right? Let me see. Oops, sorry, hit the wrong button. Alright, so it's not a bigger backpack, so I'm just going to drop it. Can always use a cap. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You can actually see the brim of my cap, but I don't want that. Let me go back to my bag. Let me take that off. I'm not liking it. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, it adds a little more realism, I guess. If you have a hat on, you kind of does protect your eyes. Alright. Alright, we got 9 mil ammo. And we have 12 gauge ammo. So, I need to find a shotgun or a pistol. Hmm, not sure what that room is. Alright, so I think that's all we're going to find in this room, in this place. So let's roll out of here. Let's pick up the crossbow. And the arrows. Alright, I definitely need some food. Shut my flashlight off. So, this town definitely has seen better days as far as zombies go. Let me just take this guy out real quick. Bang him out in the head. And he's down. Come across here. I need food because I've been going. I've been playing this game and not, not been taking advantage of finding food and stuff. So that's yeah, a muddy, muddy pants. All right, that's a good sign right there. Cause that's looks like there's two, two stores here. Alrighty. Okay, there's a couple of Zeds in there. Oh, I see a, I see a pistol and a shotgun. That dude just fell. So I'm going to get these guys. Mm. 
Get back. Get back. Alright, he down. If you guys haven't seen my video on clearing a store using an M4, you guys should check it out. This guy just making a whole bunch of noise. Alright, and he... What? Did he drop that? Are the zombies dropping things now? That would be awesome. Alright, cereal. I think, or crackers or something. Some canned food. I'm gonna grab that pistol. That pistol looks beast. And that shotgun. Alright. Great, I'm full. How am I full already? That's why. So I'm going to drop the bow because I simply don't need it. I need the hammer. Drop the arrows. I'm going to grab the shoddy and the shotgun shells. Get out of here, dude. You trying to sneak up on me? Yeah. So like I said, if you guys have not seen my video on how to clear out a store using tactics and an M4, check it out. It's actually pretty good. It's a quick video because... That's how you clear out a store. Alright. So I got some food. I got some new weapons. Which I'm going to try out in a minute. Oh, zombie there. Ah, it looks like I got myself in a little bit of a pickle here. So what I'm going to do... Is come back over here. Get some distance. Go to the bag. And I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to use that 357, dude. I'll put this back here. I'm gonna reload it. Okay. Oh boy. All right. I'm liking the sound. I am definitely. He's freaky. Oh, what the hell? Oh, man, they're dropping. Dude, they're dropping things now. They've been playing this game for a while now, and I, I don't remember seeing... Oh, I haven't, don't remember seeing zombies dropping gear, so that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty new, I think. Anyways, I've just caused a big stare, and all the zombies are after me now. So, I'm going to reload my pistol. Well... My revolver, my magnum. And I could sit here probably and pop all these guys, but I'm definitely going to pop this guy. I don't like this guy. I don't like the way he looks. Yeah, he looked like he was going to be trouble. So, let's see what we got here. That is what I'm talking about, folks. Definitely loving the bikes in this game. Oh man. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright. Now I did see another store down here. So let's go check it out. But I wish I figured I knew I you know, I still haven't figured out how to do third person view. I'm not even sure if there is a third person view, but once I do, I bet you it's gonna look awesome riding a bike on third person. I'm looking for some new equipment. Now there's going to be a new update coming out for this game here uh, shortly. The devs have been working really hard at it. And uh, hopefully it adds some new um, some new weapons and some new gear. I know the zombies will be different. They'll be adding some zombies and stuff. So that, that's very exciting. Um, unfortunately, when they do a big update like that, you uh, you lose your world and you kind of got to start over again. So, let's see what happens here. Alrighty. Well, it looks like there's some construction going on down there. Maybe we'll find some something that we can help build because the object is probably to build build barriers and stuff to protect yourself from the from the the zombies. I'm liking this though. I'm liking the bike. But I like the bike. Look at that. Alright. 
already. So, thank you, bike. These are going to be building material. This is going to be things that we can use to board up a house and probably survive through the night. I think this will be a good spot. Cause I'm wondering if I can take take any of this. I bet you if I use an axe, I could probably take this stuff. Yep, see I can carry it. So I can carry this wood and make barriers with it. But I'm going to use that house right there, I think. Number one, I'll be next to a store and I can get up that water tower to get a better view of what's going on and where the zombies are coming from. So that's going to be my plan here. Hopefully before the next build is to get I'm going to get these materials inside the garage. That's a big board. Look at that. I got another bike and a water pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be used for something or if that's just going to be a... Just a melee weapon. Alright, so... I'm going to put my gun away. Grab my trusty... Uh, tire iron because it's not a lot of noise and he's done alright so this is what it's going to be I think this is going to be the plan here folks is going to be to build a fortified um, fortified uh, house a safe zone so that we can protect ourselves from any zombies so I'm just gonna bring this wood over and I hope you guys enjoy and we will continue this in the next episode talk to you guys later thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a whoa leave a thumbs up and a like and uh, subscribe man if you like this type of stuff this game is a new game. It's not officially out yet. It's still in alpha and there's a lot of things we can do in it. So talk to you guys later.